Welcome back to the show. My next guest is not only an author, but a book coach, which intrigued me so much. So uh, you know what? We, we always love highlighting great local authors here on the, on the show. And our next author has a brand new book out. It is called Evangeline's Heaven. Welcome to the show, Jen. Great Thanks. to have you here. Jen Braxma, author and book coach, as, as I said. Um, Jen, let's talk a little bit about you and, and how you got into, into writing. What, what was your inspiration to get started in in the field? Oh, years ago when I was a kid, actually. Really? I know a lot of authors, when they're back in childhood, they love to write stories and such. Yeah, I wrote this story when I was eight. And I remember it was about Christmas, Santa, the reindeers. I don't remember the exact details, but I love this story so much. Showed it to my parents. My mom typed it up, so I decided really? that meant I was published. <laughs> but even better than that, it was an award winner because my father put this little sticker on it, an excellent sticker. Nice. And so therefore, award winning published author at age of eight. I love it. Yeah, love and it. then from there, uh, I went into journalism. There's okay. this writing field, interested in the media, um, not the perfect fit for me, so I moved into the classroom as a high school English teacher for almost two decades. And then um, and then as I was starting to write novels in my spare time as a teacher, there's not a lot of that. No kidding. And, uh, and then so I finally thought, you know what, I do want to spend more time on writing and uh, also looking at what other opportunities. I worked with a book coach, uh, so I learned what that was, trained to become one, and then launched my own business as a book coach, as well as taking time to write as well. And you, you volunteered here, did you not, here a at Rogers TV? A long time ago, yes, many, many moons ago when I was a journalism student at Carleton. Um, yeah, so what genres have you been writing? I mean, we'll get to this book in just a moment, but where did you start and, and where, are, where are you now when it comes yeah, to genres? So young adult fiction is my sweet spot for the moment. Okay. Uh, and I think that that just becomes, it comes from my, my teaching experience. I'm in a high school classroom for so many years. I love working with teens. They have such passion. They have such yeah. intensity. They either really, really love something or they really, really they're hate it. They're very honest. It. Yes. Right? They're, yes. they're probably the best critics yes, out there, absolutely, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. No, I, I recognize I overgeneralize, but it's, it's that energy and that passion that I, I loved when I was in the classroom. And I love creating characters like that too. And hopefully that the characters that I create can also help how students, readers, like teen readers kind of feel like, oh, wow, maybe that person gets me. You know, right. even if it's an angel in the heavens, there's still a, an element of humanity about my characters that, that I, I hope that my teen readers, well, every reader, of course, uh, can most relate to. Well, let's let's talk about the, the, the character then. Tell me about Evangeline. Evangeline is Lucifer's daughter. And okay. she is an angel in the heavens before Lucifer's fall. So um, the, as the lore goes, as the legend goes, uh, Lucifer battles against God and his archangels, and as the story goes, of course, is that Lucifer loses and then gets cast out of heaven into hell and becomes Satan and, and the devil. Right. So I wondered, what would that be like before that fall, before the battle? And so I got to thinking, you know, the the good, the bad, the the dichotomy of hero, villain, but it's, it's too simple. I mean, it's great to watch a movie or a TV show right, like that, right. but there's more to us as as people, we're, we're much more complex than that. So I got to thinking, what if someone actually really loved Lucifer? What, what would that look like? Is he really this bad guy? But I didn't want to do Lucifer's story from his perspective. Okay. We've seen that, that trope quite a bit yeah. out there. So Lucifer is a loving dad. And he also starts up what he thinks or what his daughter thinks is a cause a, th that fighting for their class of angels. They're the lowest class of angels. The highest class is, is, um, is fighting against them, trying to expel them from the heavens. So Evangeline thinks she's fighting the good fight. And I she see. thinks her dad is in charge of this good fight. And then as, she, as they're on the cusp of victory, she learns that her father might have found the key to their victory. He goes off in search of it. She hears of a plan uh, that's actually going to take her father out by the archangels. Okay. And so she goes off to warn him. But as she travels through the seven heavens, she starts to see that perhaps her father's actions aren't quite as uh, altruistic as she had been led to believe. And mm. so she's, she's confronted with who her father really is, but more importantly, who she is 
She was raised this through this so one This is so intriguing. Way. I love you. I love Thanks. the way your mind works. <laughs> no, really, it's amazing. So what, what is the process? Like, let's just talk about this book in particular. What, what was the process of putting this together? The process is actually part of what you mentioned before. The key is the book coach. And so I okay. worked with my own book coach. And it's very much like a sports coach. It's someone who helps you through the process. An editor will help you at the end. But a book coach will help walk you through the story from beginning to end. And most importantly, there's that emotional element to a book coach, supportive, like, hey, you got this, because right. yeah, I know it's hard. That's what I hope I can give my clients as well, because yeah. I've been through it. I know yeah. how hard it is. Exactly. But a book coach can also help make sure that you don't get to the end and realize you've just made a whole huge mess of these 300 pages, which is what happened to me before I hired really? my book coach. I wrote <laughs> 300 pages of what I thought was this fantastic novel. I got to the end trying to write this great climax scene and realized my beginning made no sense. So the as a book thing. coach, then you work throughout the entire process. It's not just, here's, you know, right. here's the book and w what do you think? I would catch that kind of mistake as a book coach before my writers got too far down the story. Okay, let me pick your brain a bit more mm -hmm. as, as, as a book coach. Um, I was going to say, you know, advice for young writers, but advice for new writers, no matter, no matter what age you are, because I, I've seen people start, doesn't matter, you know, what, what demographic you are. What, what advice do you give someone who, who's just starting out? Two pieces of advice. First okay. of all, show yourself some empathy. It's okay. a hard, long process, so it's okay that it's challenging. Writing is hard, and we often forget that. You pick up a book, hey, great. It's like you watch a movie. You don't realize mm. the hundreds of people, the hundreds of hours that it right. takes to put it together. Same thing with a book, and you're, you're, you're it. You're the only yeah. one. So, so first piece of advice, go easy on yourself. Okay. It's totally like it. fine. Yeah. The second piece of advice is having a better understanding of the fundamentals of story. So story isn't what happens. It's why it matters to the protagonist. Interesting. So it's the plot, right. but that's the what. It's really about that internal character arc that you learn in English class, but that's the key. Every protagonist has some sort of internal desire. What do they really want emotionally? Jen, very quickly, uh, we're yeah. just running out of time. Where can people pick up the book? Uh, chapters Indigo, local bookstores online. They can go to my website and order from there as well. Terrific. Thanks so much for joining us. Really appreciate I love your passion. My goodness. Thank you. I, it, you should be inspired at home to start writing. We'll be right back. <laughs>